Hi, I'm Bob Osterhout. I'd like to talk to you about worry. Uh, worry is a common thing where we tend to dwell on the negative. Uh, it's not an emotion, it's a pattern of thinking. Uh, it's a pattern of thinking that, that uh, can make us sad or angry or frustrated or afraid or hurt. Um, and it uh, basically doesn't solve the problem. What worry does is it puts our mind into a circular pattern where we go around and around and are recycling the same negative thinking. Uh, and it, it actually often results from a build-up tension and the process of worrying itself builds up tension so it creates a self-escalating process. The more tension you have, uh, the more you tend to worry, the you build tension as you worry, which means you worry more and, and you can have sleepless night after sleepless night where your mind is just going over the same things again and again and it's a very unhelpful cycle. Um, worry is different than concern. Uh, concern implies a relationship and there's a care and uh, a desire to understand what's happening and to determine how we can be helpful to someone and, and it gets things moving in a positive direction whereas worry just cycles back on itself and really isn't productive at all. Uh, the, uh, the video on uh, clearing our minds uh, offers a couple of techniques that are very helpful for that uh, uh, and there's a video on meditation which is very helpful in learning to stop worrying. Uh, basically uh, what those techniques do is to, to give your mind another place to go. Uh, the worrying actually creates a pattern in your brain and your mind tends to go there whenever tension starts to build or if you don't have something else that's occupying it. Uh, and it just increases the more you worry and makes things worse and, and, and then is increasing the tension. Um, so if we can, we have legitimate concerns, but at no time is worry uh, helpful to a situation. It's best something to, if we feel, our, feel ourselves start to go over the same thing again and again, it usually takes the form of asking a question we don't answer, uh, what happens if, uh, something like that, uh, or a statement uh, that doesn't have a legitimate response like, oh, I'll never be able to whatever. Um, and so it, it, it's a closed-ended kind of thinking uh, that is not helpful and it's a relatively easy pattern to break. Uh, the rhythm phrase in particular that's explained in the, in the uh, video on clearing our mind um, uh, provides a way that you can set up a, a, a familiar phrase uh, into your memory and just re start repeating that whenever you start to worry and after a while that habit and that tendency of worry to dis it dissipates. Uh, the other technique that's covered in the uh, uh, in more detail on the other video uh, is labeling and if you just simply recognize that's not helpful. Worry is a dead end um, and so if you think of, of your memories and your thinking as a series of roadways within your brain, this is a sign that says dead end. A worry leads us nowhere helpful uh, and it's best just to set that aside, let it go and put your mind in, into a, a direction so you're thinking in ways uh, that are either positive or helpful uh, and then you can clearly uh, look at a situation and deal with it effectively rather than just go over and over about how bad things might be about it. Okay, so I hope that's helpful. Good luck to you.